Hello Nerfers, uh, we're back. Sorry about that the other day, power companies got themselves organised now. Now, as you can see, the weapon is open. I'm working on the internals today. Um, the main issue is getting the actuating rod from the pump, how I'm going to run it down here. And it looks like I'm going to have to cut a channel through these two pieces and connect it up to the slide. Um, come in and up somehow so when it goes back it's not going to hit the magazine as it goes back so it's probably going to have to come up here be bent at this point come up and come straight so it's still pushing back but the bend is ending out here somewhere i'll probably have to do it right here by the looks of it the distance is um are quite uh, strict about 16 centimeters so it looks like I've just got it about there. So, okay, that's the first thing to do. Well, that's one of the many things to do today. The other is, um, you may remember I stuffed up and cut this one up to uh, use, but I couldn't because of the way this operates. So I had to use the retaliator body, and this is a retaliator plunger. And when it's drawn back, it actually sticks out of the end of the gun. All right, so... So you can see it. So what I've done, I've just cut it off, put a couple of slots in it, and I'm going to glue it together so it's nice and strong. And that combined with my buttstock just, just fits. So that'll be good. I'll do that in a second. Um, the actual butt brace I've modified slightly. You can see I've taken a chunk out and I've put a bolt all the way through and ground down the head so it fits in that little space up here um, and once it's painted it'll look good and it could even act as a, a strap loop so that's that now um, also I've done the um, magazine well it's a nice fit even when you pull it back you still have to pull uh, God, I've got everything got everything still in there you still have to pull it out reasonably. There's a little bit of friction. I've made it intentionally tight so it's not like an accidental bump and the thing will just fall out. So, that's the issues today. What I've got to do is I've got to have this rod going through here to the slide to actuate it. And I've also got to figure out the trigger. I'm going to have to probably grind a slot right through there. Probably the same as um, Captain Xavier on the outside of the gun here put along underneath the magazine probably in that groove there up to this trigger here so that's going to be fun and what I'll do on the outside is uh, put that uh, actuating rod whatever I use through a tube so there's no moving parts on the outside um, I'm just particular you know it's not to show off or anything I just don't see any point in having things on the outside um, oh yes, and I mentioned it earlier, I was going to cut this little slide, this piece here that was going to go in here and be painted. Um, it looks like it's going to work, but I'm not going to kill myself over that until I get this functioning. Um, because this is going to be the big thing. I'm pretty sure this piece of wire, it's not that thick, but it's pretty stiff, so I'm pretty sure it's probably been tempered. So I'm going to have to source some of that, I mean a piece of... Uh, 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 clothes hanger cut up is not going to work okay guys um, something else the rear of the gun I was going to use this as a cover piece to hide the trigger and the mechanism and make it look a bit neater and smoother and as you can see I was chopping and changing to make it fit finally got it to fit but it's a bit rough and I've cut off a bit of that one I didn't need to so I'll replace that use the original off the gun since I've got a spare, replace one of those, same thing. And what I'm going to do with this is, if I turn it around, it fits on there pretty nicely. And right there, that little pencil mark you might be able to see, is where my cheek hits. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece, fit it on there, slightly raised, and then get some of that uh, dense foam that uh, the prop makers use to make um, costumes and stuff and glue it on, sand it to shape, and I'll have a cheek rest. And I might even be able to make it adjustable, which would be pretty cool, I reckon. 
Okay, guys, one other thing I was going to do is uh, these pieces, this locking ring here and the muzzle of the retaliator, um, because I can, I can resin cast, so I'm going to resin cast both these pieces so I just have a supply of them when I need them. Um, looks a bit of a tricky little thing, I don't know why they've done that, but they've probably done it for a good reason. That little notch there sticking out, block getting in the way, so you, you can't, can only go in a certain distance. But anyway, I can easily make silicon moulds of those and resin cast as many as I need. So that'll be good. That, that's just a really convenient way of joining two guns together. Um, Alright, so, got all those things to do. I'll get them done and uh, then I'll make the next movie. So we'll be on a lot further, pretty much be able to assemble the weapon and do the painting, which I know a lot of people have been waiting for. So, see you next time. Bye.